really need to drink more water this year. It is Monday, it's the first day of the week. First day of the second week of the new year, which I feel like last week was kind of, I mean, people were working, of course, I was doing things, but it was also a recovery week and kind of like a, okay, let's figure out what we're doing with the year and like, it was stressful, but also like, I felt like I didn't do a lot, but I did do a lot. It's a weird, kind of like a fever dream of a week. And now we're officially into week two, which I feel like is when the magic starts to happen or we try and we try to not feel burnt out without the pressure that we put on ourselves to accomplish certain things and whatever. Anyway, that being said, I don't want to stress anyone out. I am feeling good. I actually have been doing dry January. I made it through my first weekend without drinking. And I don't want to say this like, oh, drinking is such a hard thing to avoid. Like I need drinks to survive and to have fun. And like, that's just simply not true. I am just a lover of a glass of wine with Italian food and like, just like the taste of alcohol. Like I do, I really enjoy a martini, you guys know. And you know what? I'm proud of myself for having a fabulous weekend, having fun without drinking. It's just, I don't know. I mean, you guys can say whatever you want to say, but I am proud of myself because it's cool to see how I feel without drinking. Like I feel, I mean, I definitely had a terrible night's sleep last night, but that was because of my period. I feel mostly great because of not drinking. And I feel like I want to see how I exercise this week. I haven't done my workouts yet this week, but I wonder if that will be different not having alcohol in my system, I bet it will. I just made it sound like I pregame my workouts. Like it's not in my system, like before I work out, but like, like I don't pregame with like alcohol. You guys know what I mean, okay? <laughs> you guys know. Anyway, okay, I'm dressed up because I'm doing this campaign. It's my first campaign I'm shooting of this year. It's actually not coming out until Valentine's Day time or like end of this month, early Feb. And I don't want to say too much because I don't know how much I can say, but I'm going to tell you as much as I know I can say. It's with a pasta brand, but it involves jewelry, okay? So I'm going uptown. I'm wearing like a Valentine-y kind of outfit because again, this will be live early Feb um, or maybe late Jan. Like around the time period people are starting to think about Valentine's Day. I feel like it's too early right now for me to start thinking about Valentine's Day, but like mentally I have to go there today. For many years of my life, I despised Valentine's Day because I was single. But in the last few years, still single, I actually started to appreciate Valentine's Day for just the aesthetic, <laughs> like it is a Hallmark holiday at the end of the day, people say that, um, and I'm fine with that. Like I'll embrace the Hallmark of it. It's it's pretty, like the red and the pink and the chocolate and the roses, like that's a beautiful aesthetic, so I'm gonna lean into it. Now that I have a boyfriend, it's more of a romantic holiday, I guess, but I still intend to lean into the aesthetic of it, hence this, and uh, the Galentines of it all. Anyway, this dress is selkie got this on anthropology and I honestly will probably wear it on Valentine's Day as well. And like for the rest of my life, I love the hourglass situation that's going on. Poofy sleeves, little sash in the back, runs pretty true to size, I'm wearing a medium. Um, they are pricey, but it's a lot of fabric, so I kind of understand why. And I just, I always get a million compliments when I wear sulky dresses and they're just so comfy. So I'm gonna go up down and shoot this ad with the pasta and jewelry brand interesting pairing, but it'll make more sense later. The apartment is looking gorgeous. You guys can see behind me, we've switched some things around. I know this is a long, lengthy intro, but the cabinet or the uh, shelf rather used to be here, you guys might recall. And it was like just super dark right in this corner. It's already so much brighter over here without it. Like I'm still kind of figuring out what to do over here. This is kind of just a placeholder of what I have. And I'm not mad about this. Like, I think it looks great, but there are some like wires back there I want to kind of figure out and just, I don't know, I'm always tinkering around with things. So this is definitely not the last change I'll make. But of course the couch looks fabulous in her glory. The shelf is over here now. It just makes so much sense over there. It really like separates the room into two distinct spaces I feel like. Or like those are like the darker colors over there in, in the uh, dining little area. And then this is like the light airy. It kind of like separates it nicely so I really like how it's looking in here. Jack is a precious gem and helped me do all this yesterday because I couldn't move that gigantic shelf. That thing is like, it's really heavy, okay? I didn't realize how heavy it was. So he helped me with that. And then, yeah, we had a chill night last night. We went and picked up some shepherd's pies from this British, it's not just a bakery. They have baked goods and stuff and like different things you heat up in your oven, but they also have like all the British candies and snacks. 
and I love going there. It's called, um, what is it called? What is it called? I literally just talked about it on the podcast. I don't remember what it's called. It's going to be on the screen because I'm, I just don't know where my brain is. I've been a few times. We went and got shepherd's pies, popped them in the oven. They were delicious for dinner last night. Or it's kind of like a late lunch. But yeah, it's been a good day so far. The lighting is gorgeous today, but it's supposed to rain the rest of the week, so I'm really milking it today. I'm feeling like it's about 2.30, which is time for me to go, because I have to be there at three, and I'm very anxious about being late or on time. Like, I always need to be, like, either early or on time. That's a ramble. I'm stalling. Okay, I need to put on perfume and get the heck out of here and go to the shoot. Mm. I gotta pack my tripod which I always bring just in case. Okay guys, wish me luck. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so I'm back from the ring shoot. I'm exhausted. Anyway, got home, hair went up first thing. Like, I just, my hair was just bugging me. I walked up to the door and saw this Amazon package and I think it is what I think it is. If it isn't, then it's not what I think it is, but it might be something else good. I don't know, but I ordered some things for the kitchen. So I got these bowls from Amazon. They're these like stoneware, off-white, with this like cool rim bowls from Amazon. They weren't too expensive and they had amazing reviews. So I grabbed four of them. It's a good size bowl for all of my various cooking that I do and need bowls for it. The bowls I currently have are quite small from Ikea. They're like just not big enough for the quantities of like stews and soups I've been making. So I needed some new ones, got these. I think I might keep the other ones just to have. I don't really have a ton of space, but I'm gonna make space because, you know, heaven forbid I have a dinner party of eight people or four people in two different stews, like, you know, sound the alarm. I'm really happy with these. I'm gonna wash them and then put them away. And then I got one more thing, or I guess two things rather, or actually four. Four. Finally got some oven mitts for my kitchen because I've been using towels and I've been told by my mom and by Jack that I can't do that anymore, that it's unsafe. So I got some legit oven mitts. These are actually from Vera Bradley. It's a real full circle moment to be wearing Vera Bradley oven mitts in my New York City apartment when I used to buy, or I guess my mom, would buy them for me, the Vera Bradley, like little backpacks and pencil pouches and overnight little totes or whatever you call those, like the devils. It's just funny. I really loved this pattern. It's this red and navy little flowers, some white thrown in there, some green, and I thought that they would look really nice in my kitchen. And they're just like really adorable. And they came with little pot holders or whatever you call this. Is this a pot holder? I think this is a pot holder. This is totally unintentionally matching my dress. I did not know I was getting these today. So yeah, it's been a successful little Amazon haul. My crock pot is smelling amazing. I have the beef and potatoes in there. It smells good. Um, has an hour and 40 minutes left and then I'll be eating it. Jack's coming over. It's looking to be one of those nights where I, uh, I fall asleep on the couch. I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna fall asleep on the couch. I am tired. I'll have the kitchen things linked down below, the oven mitts, little, whatever these are called, and the bowls <laughs> linked down below. They were all very reasonably priced. Like, I am so official now. I feel like um, Martha Stewart. Um, but yeah, so that is my kitchen update. Okay. <laughs> suited up and ready to sweat. This jacket is from Sam, S-A-M, via Revolve, and my tissues are going in the trash. <laughs> it's about 38 degrees today, so not the coldest, not the warmest, so I'm gonna wear my short coat, not my long parka. And now I am ready to go move my body. 
move it and groove it in the gym if i can untangle my headphones perhaps my airpod max is actually don't charge anymore so i need to take those in i have apple care i just need to take them in to the store and see what's going on but i've been fine with my corded headphones for now All right guys, my workout is done. I'm now doing my usual ritual, which is going to get a protein smoothie at Juice Gen. It is my favorite part of the day, my favorite part of the morning. So I got my OPP smoothie, just taking a little breather before I head back downtown on the subway. But I have to say, this is not an ad. I wish it was. I wish Juice Gen knew that I existed because I, drink a scary amount of these. I used to make smoothies at home, which I'm still doing every once in a while, but now that I'm cooking at home, I've kind of justified getting smoothies out because I have to say, no one does it like Juice Gen. I try to go home and make a replica smoothie to this and I just can't do it. I don't know what kind of sorcery they're up to in there, but this is the best smoothie I've, I've ever had. And it has so much protein, which is something that I'm looking to improve on this year. I wanna consume more protein because obviously, or maybe not obviously, but I've said this in the past that my fitness goal is to build muscle and it's hard to build muscle without adequate protein in your diet. Like I'm, I'm not a dietitian, but I know that. So I'm trying to find protein wherever I can. And these smoothies are so good. They have a bunch of different protein filled options. They have the OPP, they have some with caffeine, like some with coffee in them, some with strawberries without, like this one has strawberries in it. So it has like protein powder and other protein filled things, but then like it tastes really good because of the strawberries. So anyway, highly recommend checking out Juice Gen. I only just discovered it late last year because of Danielle. She introduced it to me and I blame her for my addiction. <laughs> it's a good addiction to have, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, but my God, I like crave these. I crave them. Like I'll be sitting in my apartment and I'm like, oh, I gotta get a Juice Gen smoothie. I'm craving it. Like it is my latest obsession. So anyway. Got my smoothie, I'm going to hop on the subway shortly here, and I have a bunch of work things to do before I go to book club tonight. My book club is meeting tonight in the East Village, I'm very excited about that, but I have a bunch of things to tick off the to-do list till then, so, yep, but workout done, smoothie done, now on with the day. The lighting is not the best in my kitchen, but I actually ordered a little kitchen counter lamp that's coming, I think, next week. So I'll have better lighting over here so I can film my recipes and stuff and feel more confident about the lighting. But speaking of recipes, I popped into the grocery store on the way back from my walk and I got ground beef and a head of lettuce and I'm going to make a nice healthy taco salad. I have a ton of spices. I'm gonna attempt to make my own cilantro lime vinaigrette or something I saw online that looked good. So we'll see what I can cook up, but my afternoon is going to consist of a lot of tax work or just getting ahead on things for tax season, which is always looming, it seems. Like it's just always there. And I have a bunch of emails and things to go through. I'm gonna make myself some salad. And I actually got these chickpeas because I wanna integrate chickpeas into my diet more. I really like chickpeas and I feel like they're, well I've read, I know. I don't feel like, I know they're a good source of protein. You guys have a chickpea recipe or something with chickpeas in it, drop it down below. I'll try to make it. Okay, let's get cooking.
I'm doing something a little different with my hair. I did this thing where I let it dry with the part over here, gave it some volume with some rollers, and then flipped it to the other side. So it was over here, my part, and now the part's over here. I went like, and it kind of gave it some more volume. And I used this little spray from Dry Bar. It's called Triple Sec. And it is a three-in-one finishing spray. Texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. So now I'm just putting some finishing touches on my date night look. I'm wearing my Skims dress. I'll show you guys my full outfit in a second, but I need to put my lipstick on. And I'm using, well, lip liner first, Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury, and then I'm going to put a gloss on top. This stuff is great. Um, it is what it says it is. It like helps you cheat your natural lip line. So it makes your lips look larger. Not by a ton. So tonight's gloss is this Fenty Heat Gloss. It's plumping. It is, there's a lot of words. I feel like, I love Rihanna. I love Fenty. I love a lot of makeup brands, but why so many words? There's so many names. I get it, there's so many different products, but I just, I feel like there's just so many words now. There never used to be this many words. Anyway, okay, rant over. I understand it's for a good reason, but I just like, oh my God, the words. Okay, this is Gloss Bomb Heat Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper in Fussy Heat. And it's just a really pretty, just gives some gloss and a little plump. And I feel like it's long lasting. My neighbors love to slam their doors. Okay. Oh my god, another one, another one. Let me just like clean up a little bit and then I will tell you guys where I'm going tonight. So, my god, I have so much stuff. All these rollers, I have so many rollers. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So tonight is date night. Jack and I are going to this place called Tiny's in Tribeca. It is really, oh wait, I think I have a tag. One second. There's a tag on my blazer. <laughs> I actually wore it, this blazer, in Miami when I was there for Art Basel and I didn't realize I left the tag on until I got home and I was like, oh, that's why I was so itchy back there all night. Like my back was itchy. This blazer's from Revolve. It's from BCBG actually. And it's really, really cute. So I have a Skims dress on underneath and then blazer. I kind of look like a congressman <laughs> like this. But let me buckle it for you. It's very like power suit vibes, I guess, but nighttime. Classic, I just stared at myself in the mirror for too long and I realized, or I've decided, that I think it's a little bit too serious with it all belted up, so I think I'm just gonna leave it open. I'm probably gonna end up like being like this normally or like for most of the time, but I kind of love a blazer look. I don't know what is throwing me off right now. I feel like I look too put together with this on. But it is also New York, okay? People wear like all sorts of things out here. I'm always just like, I never know the vibe. At the end of the day, I'm wearing all black and I'm going to dinner with my boyfriend. Like I'm already dating him. I'm not going on a first date. I need to bring myself back down to earth a little bit. It's just dinner. I get so worked up over like very small problems. I need to like, I have this like pretty red dress, but I feel like it's too fancy. Anyway guys, I think this is my final look, all black blazer, skim stress, maybe leaving it open, maybe bringing that little thing, my little belt in my purse so I can cinch it if I decide I wanna cinch it. Anyways, I'm going to Tiny's in Tribeca, fabulous restaurant with my fabulous boyfriend, and I'm very excited, and I will try to snap some videos when I'm there. Now, let's go to date night. <laughs> 